So thank you so much for coming. And my name is Ryoko Takada Barrett, and I am the program manager of the English language program, uh, Continuing Education. But uh, I am today uh, representing that uh, Continuing Education um, program called uh, International Professional Programs or um, in Continuing Education Professional Programs for International Students. So I'd like to share my presentation and start. Just one second. Okay. So that uh, I finished my introduction and uh, I just uh, a little bit talk about Calgary and uh, the city itself and the University of Calgary. And I just uh, move on to international professional programs. We have two kind of uh, different delivery mode or like uh, different types, I would say, of that uh, program. And uh, I'll just uh, uh, keep that uh, general Q&A there as well. So uh, Calgary is like, as you can see here, second from the West and uh, we are located quite southern part of a uh, province called Alberta. So we're just about two, three hours, I would say three hours away from the border of the, um, uh, the states. And uh, we used to have a lot of like a direct flight, but uh, under the COVID-19, that direct flight has been kind of reduced, but uh, hopefully uh, things are coming back. So those flight, uh, flights will come back as well. And the city of Calgary, this is the picture of that uh, downtown Calgary. And uh, Calgary is the fourth largest city in Canada with about uh, 1.4 million people. And uh, under this uh, COVID-19, the statistics has been a little bit like a skewed, but um, we used to be like uh, up to before, right before um, COVID-19, uh, we're ranked always like a fourth, fifth uh, most livable city in the world. So still that, um, that, is, that continues and our city is quite safe, clean and friendly. And we're closely located to that uh, Canadian Rockies and uh, just one hour away from Banff National Park, which is the um, first national park in Canada. And uh, we are the host of the 1988, quite like a long ago, but a uh, winter Olympics and uh, so what I, why I am taking up the topic is that uh, in the university facility as an English um, continuing education student, you can also have access to the facilities and including that uh, the facility that was used for this Olympic, Olympics, uh, Olympic Games as well. So University of Calgary is one of Canada's top 10 research universities and uh, quite wide, um, vast like a campus of uh, 213 hectare and um, uh, 30,000, more than 30,000 students are studying on campus right now. And uh, from here, I'd like to introduce some uh, key um, facilities that uh, as a continuing education student, you have access as well. First one is Taylor Family Digital Library. And this library is one of the most digitally advanced um, uh, university library in North America. So it's really like a, a lot of like a functions. Of course, you can borrow books like a physically, but a lot of like a, a information stored electronically so that uh, you have access to that. You have uh, physical access to the library and you use computers, printers. So those access, um, is um, granted to you as a continuing education student. And this is one of the facilities I was talking about, uh, was used uh, for the 1988 Winter Olympics. Olympic Oval is um, speed, speed skate ice, ice skate rink. And um, you have access to that by using your uh, university ID card. And not only this facility for the exercise facilities, you have access to the exercise gym, swimming pool, different kind of courts um, as a uh, student as well. 
And McEwen Student Center is part of the campus with, as you can see, like uh, some food courts and uh, full served restaurants, shops, uh, bookstore, and uh, medical and dental clinics as well. So it is a quite like a core building of the University of Calgary. So from here, I'd like to talk about that uh, continuing education professional programs for international students. We call it um, another name, IPP, International Professional Programs. And um, I'd like to explain, like uh, to start with, this program, these programs, I would say, are that um, two different types. One is like a one um, program is eight months, so less than one year. The other one is one year, so that uh, eight month programs are four, four month one per term, and then two terms. And uh, one year programs is the same length per term but uh, you will study three consecutive terms to make it to one year. And the uh, continuing education professional programs, uh, IPP, are essentially like um, at the end of the program, you will be receiving multiple uh, different like a certification, like a certificate, I would say, certificate, um, depending on what you study. So I'd like to introduce that, but I just I want to also introduce the difference between eight month programs and one year programs to start with so that you can just understand a little bit better. So the IPP has those two, two like a different like a programs and eight month is as an international student, you are registered in one program. And then after that, you will um, register to different programs with domestic learners. Uh, continuing education's big mission in the university is um, offer programs to uh, general public, like a working professionals, those who want to um, learn a little different area or like a reinforced knowledge and then skills in the area they're working in right now. So those ones are that um, the target market. And so a lot of like a domestic students are taking continuing education programs. And for the eight month program, you will join those local students as well. So the how you can just uh, make your course is a little bit flexible because uh, you will you have a choice to join which program, uh, which courses. So that's the kind of flexibility you have. But uh, scheduling is a little bit like um, different from you may be thinking because um, again, this eight month program is um, joining the domestic um, programs. So then um, working professionals, they join those classes, evening time, weekends, and then daytime, but a one or two day seminars or even online. So that choice is not flexible. You have to join the format the, the course has. So that's a less flexible part. And delivery is, um, uh, flexible, but uh, uh, different types. And uh, I'll just explain, but uh, for this one, because you have uh, have choices, uh, what format to, format pro, uh, courses to join. So essentially you have to keep that uh, minimum 50% in-person delivery format in order to be eligible for that uh, future uh, postgraduate work permit. And, um, to certificate, you can get after that uh, eight month program and start timing is May, September, January. So three times a year. And then on the other hand, one year program is designed for international students. So the course is preset. So when you join that uh, one stream of the program, you will study with your classmates for the entire time uh, preset um, format. And, um, but the benefit is because of that, the classes are delivered uh, during daytime and in person. And at the end of the one year program, 
uh, depending on the stream you join, you will be able to get four to five certificates. And uh, the start time is just only two times at this moment, September or January. So this program is new and we are starting January 2022. 20, um, so that's the kind of overview, and I'd like to go to more details of each uh, uh, program. So eight month programs, what you can get is one, 100 hour leadership certificate and a management certificate for the 300 hours. And two streams you can choose from, one is professional management, or human resource management. So those are the two streams. And if you choose human resource management, you will get two certificate. One is leadership certificate, and then the other one is human resource management certificate. And as I explained as general information, two terms to complete. So that's a four month per term, and then you can just consecutively study two terms. And starting admission is fall, winter, uh, spring slash summer. And I explained that uh, you will be registered in that one particular program that is called CEID. And uh, by uh, registering into that uh, program, you will, um, by paying that uh, deposit and uh, application fee minimum uh, amount, you will be able to get a letter of acceptance, and then you can just uh, use that letter to apply for a study permit as well. And uh, again, that uh, delivery may be um, evenings, weekend, and days, but uh, in a kind of seminar format. And uh, that's because that uh, you are joining that uh, domestic uh, program like uh, already running. So that's uh, a little caution I'd like to add here is that uh, if you choose this uh, eight month programs, um, if you would like to move on to that uh, future uh, postgraduate uh, work permit eligibility, you have to take that uh, in-person uh, classes, class hours more than like uh, online um, hours. So that, uh, that is a little bit like uh, when you register, we will just uh, specifically talk about that, but uh, that is something I'd like to add. And uh, this one is like a one program. If you take eight months, uh, maybe eligible for an eight month uh, postgraduate work permit. And the different uh, side of that IPP is more like a one um, year and uh, preset uh, format. So at the end of this uh, IPP one year programs, uh, each one, you will get four to five certificates. And then I can just introduce what certificates you can get um, by studying uh, each uh, different one. And uh, so that's uh, one year, so one uh, full month per term. And uh, you will study in order to complete, you will study three um, terms like a back to back. And um, uh, fall and winter admissions and program is defined, meaning that um, already preset and uh, you can just uh, join and go with that, uh, the um, designated courses each term to take towards the uh, graduation. And uh, when you complete this one year program, uh, one, one year program, you may be eligible for a one year uh, postgraduate work permit. And the last bullet talking about can be done in succession, meaning that uh, we have like uh, three different streams. And if you choose to study um, two one-year programs back to back in succession, you will be able to, you may be, I would say that uh, may be able to, uh, el to be eligible for that uh, maximum um, three years um, postgraduate work permit. So I just uh, um, introduced that, uh, what certificate you can get. And then there are three streams in that uh, one year programs. And uh, business analysis, intelligence, and analytics, uh, you can get those four certificates. And um, digital media and marketing, 
uh, one more and uh, you will be able to get five certificates at the end of the year, one year. Project management is those um, certificates. So those ones are that, uh, what you will study uh, in the stream. And after this uh, presentation when I'm done, I'd like to go to our website and then show you and then navigate a little bit um, so that you can just uh, look into that uh, website at a later time. So admission requirements. Um, we, our general like uh, continuing education programs are like uh, we try to reach as many like uh, audience as possible. So we have like a uh, quite like a lenient and um, open like a strategy for that uh, acceptance. So you have to be 18 years old or older and meet all program um, will be run in English, of course. So meet CE, continuing education, English language proficiency requirements. I'll just uh, introduce that web page, but uh, generally speaking, IELTS 6.0 is the requirement. Or uh, I'm the manager of the English language program and the semester program level six completion with B plus or better is that um, another um, requirement criteria um, requirement as well. And completed high school is the minimum requirement. And, um, but uh, because like uh, the subject itself, like a program itself is really like a designed to respond to that uh, local uh, workforce. Uh, so that uh, post-secondary um, completion in that area might be recommended or like a small, like even work experience may be beneficial for your future study. And academic terms, um, I've already um, explained. And tuition is about seven thousand Canadian dollars per term. And uh, I'll just uh, show you again in our web page a little bit more details after this. But uh, U Pass, which is the um, city transit pass, so you can just uh, download an app and uh, you can use your um, smartphone to get onto that. Um, uh, city bus and then train for free. Uh, tuition includes that. Kinesiology, uh, library, campus Wi-Fi access, all like a granted. And one thing not included is the textbooks. But uh, you can purchase out at our bookstore, or if you know that uh, which books we're using from like a by kind of checking that uh, ISBN, like a book identification number. Of course, you can just uh, order from uh, different like uh, third party um, online or physical bookstore as well. And uh, eight month programs include GuardMe, which is an emergency international, sorry, emergency medical insurance for international students. And a one year program, you will be eligible for that um, uh, provincial um, medical system. So you can just uh, get a card from there as well. So as I explained, um, I'd like to move to that, uh, our website. So this is our website, uh, CONTED, Continuing Education short form, conted.ucalgary.ca. And when you scroll down, there is here global extensions. And uh, the program I'm the manager um, with is like a here English language program, but uh, today I'd like to jump on to international professional programs. So click on this. And uh, essentially you will get all the necessary information here. Um, as I mentioned, full-time status in this program outlined below may be eligible for postgraduate work permit. So upon completion, uh, by keeping that full-time status, you will be able, and then other like uh, requirements, you will be able to um, apply for postgraduate work permit. And uh, this is what I explained about the admission requirement. And this one, when you click on that, you will jump to that um, uh, English language proficiency. So if you are going through that uh, one of those test scores, 
Um, you can refer to um, TOEFL IBT here, uh, academic format of uh, IELTS 6.0. And at this moment, we accept the Duolingo test score and um, 110 with a minimum of 100 in production. So if you don't see those brackets, essentially at this moment, uh, we are accepting by that uh, overall score. For example, um, IELTS academic is that uh, 6.0 overall. So in the future, um, we may add some like a uh, more specifics such as like uh, you also have to have like a 6.0 in writing, for example. So right before you apply for the program, I strongly recommend you revisit this uh, English language proficiency webpage and double check if you have like, an, if you meet the minimum test score. And uh, again, like a uh, English language program, full-time uh, semester program level six, you will study three courses in level six and completion with B plus or better uh, for all three courses is um, also another requirement that you can use. And uh, if you studied like a, your high school or university subjects uh, in English, so that a university has lectures and then class itself uh, full-time and then run in English, if, you, if your uh, school is listed on this website, that is quite straightforward. You can submit that uh, your um, diploma or and um, transcript in English. And then it, it is quite easy for our uh, student services team to find that information. Yes, you learned um, two years, like a minimum two years uh, in English. So that's easy. And if um, not listed on that website, um, please contact us and then we can just uh, guide you what potentially you can just uh, submit to prove your um, completion of formal uh, full-time English, like a study at an English secondary or post-secondary institution. So that is um, uh, the English language proficiency. And I'd like to show that uh, a little bit how you can navigate that uh, website. So if you're interested in that the eight month programs, please click on this and uh, you can just uh, jump to, for example, uh, professional management to get more information here. And uh, same for that, um, That's, um, uh, sorry, that this one is a uh, professional management. So professional management or human resource management, you can just uh, jump on each one of them to learn what they are. And fees are here, that's uh, application fee, $200. And uh, the registration into this program as an international student, and two terms and 3,900. And then uh, this one has a range of the tuition. That is because that uh, you will work with our uh, student services team to make your own final like, um, as, like a pro program by meeting each like a uh, small courses towards that uh, to certificate in this eight month program. So that's why like uh, depending on what you choose, the tuition will be different. Uh, and then the range is from here to here. And uh, so that is that uh, eight month program and one year programs, you can just uh, jump onto each one of them by clicking on one of them. So for example, business analysis, intelligence and uh, analytics. And here, this orange place, um, what you can learn and then choose this program track if you are like uh, looking for this type of things. So that uh, this one is also related to your future, like uh, what kind of like uh, um, jobs you may be able to get. So that's something you can read from. And uh, this one is the uh, details what you will study in the program. And uh, this one is what certificate you can get. 
so that you can just uh, read and understand what types of um, certificates you can get. And list of courses is like uh, very like uh, important. So open up everything. And you will see that uh, term one, what course you will study and how many hours you are like uh, dedicating, uh, taking the, for those courses and term two and then three. So you will be able to see that uh, um, what courses you will be studying as you progress as well. And um, I just uh, want to go back to the tuition as well. So tuition application fee is $200 the same and program fee for the entire year is $21,225. And uh, each term is $7,075 and you can just uh, um, pay each term as well. Both um, eight month programs and one year programs, um, the minimum requirement to get a study permit is the deposit. So both programs, uh, one term deposit is $675. So if you study one year, the minimum payment is here, $2,025 deposit, 675 times three terms. And uh, eight month programs, the minimum is deposit for each, so times two, and uh, 1550 is the deposit. And uh, this one is quite like a unique um, program and a unique experience. And you could think about like uh, application of what you learn uh, when you, if you pursue that um, uh, postgraduate work permit and then uh, work experience, that might be quite like a link and a good experience um, so that you can expand your knowledge and uh, skills as well. That is uh, matching in that uh, local uh, work, like a labor market, I would say, as well. So I'd like to stop here. That's uh, um, our recording. And um, if you have any questions, please uh, contact us. Uh, stop by my booth, booth um, I'll be here until two o'clock. And then if you have any questions, uh, please contact us so that uh, we could uh, discuss further as well. So thank you so much.